What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI and today I wanted to start a new web series and I want to call it Random App of the Day. And I actually got this from my son. He actually does one called Random Game of the Day. And uh, I'll throw a link in the description of this if you'd like to check out games. He pretty much does random iOS games. So anyway, taking his idea, I want to do random apps of the day and it could either be a game or an app and it can be with any operating system. Uh, most of them I'm going to cover Windows just because the Windows store is still kind of a ghost town and it's kind of hard to find good apps. So if you're looking for some good Windows apps, go ahead and subscribe and daily or at least every other day I'm going to try and uh, scour the web and find some good random apps to throw up here and review. So with that, let's get started and take a look at our first one. All right, so let's take a look at our first random app of the day and this one is going to be TouchMail. And as it looks like, it is a email client, and this one specifically is for the uh, Windows 8.1, so this one's in the Windows Store. This is uh, touch optimized, so this is ideal if you have a Surface tablet. I'm personally running this on a Surface Pro 3, but as you can see, you can sync numerous emails uh, to it. This is just an example, but this is what it looks like, and again, it's 100% free. And what I like about this, it's it's completely optimized for uh, touch. So obviously you can't see, but right now I'm using my uh, touch inputs to move it, scroll it. And the cool thing I like about this is you can zoom in and out. And the more you zoom in, the more details you're going to get in that little uh, thumbnail, essentially. So the bigger I make this, the more info I get. So it gives me essentially a little bit of what the email is. So that is kind of cool, I think. And of course, for each email, it will assign a little picture for quick reference. So uh, these are ones that I haven't assigned one for, but you can actually import pictures from your contact. So, you know, but if you don't have a picture, it's going to assign a default one. But works quite nicely, works as it should. Um, cool thing about this as well is you can have multiple email accounts added to it. So you can have up to three. So I can have a Gmail and a Hotmail, you know, and a Yahoo, whatever you have. So you can add multiple uh, clients to this and again it's optimized in the typical metro formats where you swipe and it's one continuous stream which I like quite a bit and also um, this works really well for attachments let me show you cool thing is with the attachment all you simply do is left click on it or tap it and it gives you the option open open with or save so really nice uh, works really well and again the best thing about this is it's free and I actually prefer this over the actual native email client and even Outlook itself um, so to me this is a uh, perfect for a surface tablet it looks good and the only issue I've found with this is if you go over here to date it gives you the option where if I just want to have the emails from today yesterday so forth and so on and I've got all time selected and for whatever reason it's only um, downloaded for the past month from the server so I don't know if that's just a glitch with the software. I may have to email the developers to see if they're tracking or to see if I just did something wrong and didn't select it correctly. But for whatever reason, it's only giving me back for essentially a month. So let me make this small. Yeah, so it's only going back to March for some reason. And obviously I know I got older ones on the server. But anyway, that's the only thing I found wrong with it so far. So if it is an issue with the app, I'm sure they can push out a future update. But again, this is a completely free app, and it's optimized and works great for touch. Looks awesome on a Surface tablet. I'm running this on a Surface Pro 3. And like I said, it gives you all the typical options. And uh, for instance, you can also collapse this. So from there, you just get kind of a little thumbnail. But if you forget what those are, just simply click on this, and it tells you what they are. And of course, if you want to compose, you just click on this, and it's self-explanatory. But um, so far, I'm loving this app. It looks great. It's totally free. Um, and even with it being free, most f apps that are free, you'll see ads. And there's no ads, so it's uh, pretty cool. Um, and one thing I also like about this is, you know, all this is essentially junk mail. So I just click on this, and I can delete them all at the same time. So it's kind of cool, quick way to just manage your emails. But um, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you want to see more great apps, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you haven't done so. Other than that, it is called TouchMail. Be sure to check that out. As always, thanks for watching. Later.